The five o'clock advisory is in, so let's break it down. Top headline is that Melissa is beginning its period of rapid intensification. The storm will be very likely a category five hurricane by Monday. The National Hurricane Center now explicitly forecasting a cat five storm with max winds around 160 miles an hour as it makes its approach to Jamaica. Here's that uh, latest advisory as of five o'clock. We do have a stronger Melissa. The storm taking on more of that classic hurricane shape. You can see the banding beginning to wrap up in the deep thunderstorm development, especially around the core of the storm. Let's go over the changes in the advisory from two o'clock to where we stand now this evening. So big jump in those winds 75 up to 90 mile an hour winds. Now pressures dropped to 974 and I think also too notable is our movement. So we now have that westward shift and that westward movement very slowly expected to continue as we head through tomorrow into Monday and then eventually we see a dip in the jet stream come along and at least tug Melissa up to the north which is what brings that landfall into play for the island of Jamaica, but a stronger Melissa this evening and with rapid intensification beginning under very warm waters, expecting to see a major hurricane by tomorrow. Here's a look at the latest forecast track. So this is brand new hot off the press from the NHC with that five o'clock suite. So here's the deal Sunday afternoon where we stand tomorrow. We are expecting to see 130 mile an hour winds, uh, a major hurricane category three on our hands with Melissa with the continued westward movement through Monday afternoon into Monday night. That's when we're expecting to achieve that category five strength. And this is what I mean. The explicit forecast 160 mile an hour winds that is brand new with this five o'clock advisory. Um, so definitely uh, taking a moment to just recognize that that is in pretty prolific. Um, and as far as the impacts go for Jamaica, this really turning into a worst case scenario, especially when we consider uh, the eastern side of the island, Kingston, the population centers, highly populated areas, Kingston alone, about a million people. So then with Melissa, we start to see a northeastward pull. We're going to watch as this storm does begin to move pretty quickly north of the Caribbean islands as we head through the middle of this week, Monday afternoon, weakening with some influence from the mountains that we know are upwards of 7,500 feet across Jamaica and then Cuba. Also brand new with this advisory is that the government ha of Cuba has issued a hurricane watch. And so getting that for you now. Here's the update. So that hurricane watch now extended up to the north for eastern Cuba, Guantanamo, where we are expecting to see Melissa lift to the north Tuesday through Wednesday. But that hurricane warning in effect for Jamaica. Here's a look at the storm. Last kind of look at satellite before the sun sets this evening and boy, can you just see the outflow of this storm venting in the upper levels, the deep banding with this storm as it tightens and intensifies. The elevation is a big concern, especially when we consider the landslide and the blood mudslide risk. This is where perhaps the most extreme and catastrophic danger could come, considering that the forecast is calling for upwards of two to three feet of rain. In some cases, up to 40 inches of rain could be achieved with the advancing side of this storm. The lift of the mountains squeezes out even more energy. This a very dangerous situation. And then when you consider the growing size of Melissa, that hurricane force wind, sustained winds with this cat five coming in the dirty side of the storm, as we call it, advancing into Kingston, you have the bays here with the potential for storm surge more than a foot.